what happens if you don't have a ground? You have older wiring in your home, no ground. Are you stuck with two prong outlets? If you do not have a ground, which is common depending on the age of your home, do not just use a standard residential three prong outlet and connect up your black hot conductor and your white neutral conductor. Technically, that will power your devices, but you will not have a ground. So you might plug in an appliance with three prongs, and that ground prong is the equipment ground, and that can cause a dangerous situation where maybe there is a metal case around that appliance, there's an internal short, and that case is gonna become your hot conductor looking for a ground, which you do not have. So if you touch that appliance, guess what? You might become the ground, and that is a dangerous situation. So do not just connect up a three prong. The better path, if you actually want an outlet that can take three prong appliances, you would use a GFCI outlet. Now you would connect that up to the line side. You'd put your neutral to the silver and your hot to the gold terminal, and you do not need a ground and you're still covered. Why is that? It's because a GFCI does not need a ground to operate correctly. It detects if there's a difference between the hot and neutral. So if you touch that appliance and now you became the ground, well, there would be a difference between those two conductors and it would trip. It would cut the power off and protect you. So that's why these can be installed only with two wires, but you do need to use the proper labeling on your faceplate, just saying there is no equipment ground.